Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be revealing, unboxing, unbagging a bag that quite honestly, <laughs> in the style, I, I pretty much said I would never buy one of these. I'm not sure if I said it publicly, but <laughs> I've been saying it behind the scenes, quietly, just like this. I just, yeah, haven't, I was never really enthused by it, but it came along in a color that I couldn't say no to at a price I definitely couldn't say no to. And I just finally decided it was time to add one to the collection. You know, it, never say never because you'll end up like me. You'll just add one eventually. If you want to know what I picked up from Coach, stick around. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your favorite fragrance, your cup of coffee, skincare, what have you, handbags, whatever makes you feel a little better about yourself because you deserve to treat yourself. Um, I've been doing a little much of that as of late, as you might have noticed at the uh, current count. I think I'm at about 14 or 15 items of this type for the year and we're only at like month nine so probably need to walk things back and this I don't foresee myself returning this but when I purchased it I bought it with the intent of um, trying it out and if it's not going to work for me I will definitely return it but it was a very good price and a very good um, style it's the kind of thing I'm trying to add a little bit more to just to have them on hand, but um, it may or may not work depending on the size and shape of it. So we'll get more into it as soon as I open it. So, um, and this may be a controversial video because people have opinions about certain styles and I never want to be a Debbie Downer or be one to yuck somebody's yum, but you know, there are certain styles that just don't work for everybody out there. And you know, cer certain bags that I would never buy. And this happened to be one of the ones that I did not find incredibly agreeable from, from coach. And I just used the box, honestly. I bought this from Macy's. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I just have it in there um, just for this purpose. But I purchased it from Macy's because it was uh, Labor Day weekend. They had a killer 20% off sale. It was already on clearance. Um, so I got it for a, almost a hundred dollars off, I think, in the, in the end. So ultimately, even if it doesn't work out, I think, um, I'll give it the college try. I don't think I'm going to necessarily just give it back unless it just first, it doesn't fit the phone or what have you. And granted, I have the phone out there. So I'm going to have to do after I'm all done talking to you, I'll do the actual, if that fits. So I'll insert text that says, you know, yes or no, it, it's going back. But um, the bag I'm talking about is the Coach Tabby. And there there's a lot of love for tabby out there i'm going to tell you that's probably the one bag it's like for the love of god why did he make this bag? <laughs> that's what i kept thinking all of the, every time i see the collections come out and then you know the next variety the next style it's puffy it's not it's smooth it's this there, there's a tabby for it for everyone apparently but it was not for me for the longest time and i you know, it's fine. It's just not my kind of bag. And I tried it, um, the coach outlet version of it. And now I'm, I think it's the Madison is what it was called. My flowered version of it. I'll insert a picture of it. So I tried that style out of it and it's fine. It just wasn't quite to my liking in that style. Um, and <laughs> The other thing that bothers me about the tabby, and I'm so I'm saying this in advance. I'm so sorry to everyone who loves the tabby, but the the long tongue I, I I don't know what to call the the tab component of it. It just it it's always reminded me of like I don't know like a thong. And the Gucci Marmot is very similar. That open, that's why I never bought a Gucci one. I thought those were really cute bags, but for some reason I couldn't get this out of my head, like hearing the thong song or something like that from, from years ago. I don't know why, just for some reason, it 
that's all I could see was a pair of panties on the front of it. And it just drove me kind of bonkers to just, like, I don't know why. It was like that closure just doesn't, just, it, I don't know. It just gave me this, this weird just thing where I couldn't find the beauty. And it's ironic because I think the Fendi baguette is beautiful. This is like the, you know, baguette for, you know, it's just, they're so similar. It was, it's like the dumbest thing ever. And I totally, I totally admit it's the dumbest thing ever to think of, but that's what was keeping me from buying one. How, no matter how pretty I thought, um, folks when they were unboxing that and watch their videos and be like, well, that's, you know, really nice for you. <laughs> Good for you. I just couldn't see myself buying one. But then this color came out and it's, it was like, you know, the, the color of the summer, everybody was wearing it in all the different shapes and styles that it came in. You probably know because my lips look a lot like it. So it ended up being the dragon fruit color. And I mean, it's all wrapped up in it's plastic, but it, um, when I saw that it was on sale, it was the dragon fruit color. And this is the something that I was like, okay, if I'm going to add something, it's going to be this color for the summer. And nothing else was really, I don't know, calling, calling me. So this one being on sale seemed interesting enough. And I'm trying to think if there was any other, it came from Macy's. I think they're already sold out, but you can still get it at Neiman. Marcus, and I want to say there's one other, maybe Bloomingdale's that has it. Um, I will double check and put it on the screen, but I'm pretty sure you can still get it from a few retailers, although not at quite the, the discount that Macy's was having it. So they're really trying to clear them out. But as per usual, there's a lot, a lot of packaging in here. This is the, I guess, Wallet on Chain version of the, the tabby. Let me see if it has a leather crossbody. Yeah, it doesn't give me any other real details. I'll insert a close up of the tab. And then the MFSRP was $2.95 originally for it. But um, this, yes, this, this, I can't unsee it, <laughs> but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be open-minded and, and, and not be, um, that, that person. So crossbody strap, it's a chain, right? Yeah. A chain. Um, it has the back pocket and I am, I am worried that it's not going, I think they said the dimensions were seven and a half. And I think that is just big enough to get the phone inside but not back here so pretty sure um the phone will only go inside but anywho so it's the smooth um well not smooth it's the smooth it's not the puffy is what i'm trying to say not the puffy and um it's like a pebbled leather so i'm not worried about the scratching per se so that was a bonus um i know that, that some of these come in really really smooth leather and i didn't really like that um style but here's the hang tag and then um you know a little tab and then when you go in there is a really small pocket right here silver hardware before i forget and then when you go in, all the card slots are here on the front side of it. And then there is a zip pocket here on the back. And that is the tiniest little zip I've ever seen. That little, that little pull tab is tiny, but a decent sized pocket. Oh, kids are wanting to get back in. I thought I had a minute, they were outside. So I think the phone's going to fit on the inside. I think we'll be okay. So I, I've been wanting to get more of these wallet on chain type of grab and go bags. Um, I'm just finding right now that they're really helpful to have. I like to double up, especially with when I have to go into work and kind of last minute, like I'll have this type of bag that I'll carry 
for the remainder of the week and then be able to just throw this into my never full or my other toads. I have like three different um, never full type um, or tote bag type of ones from um, Louis Vuitton that I can use for work. And then I have my read quick off ones and some other styles as well. But, um, you know, the massive bags that can carry the laptop and everything else I need to go into the office when I need to go in because that's coming on to be more regular than just, you know, once in a while. So be able to have the um, method to utilize more of these smaller bags, but then double up and utilize them inside those larger bags for that dual um, dual purpose. So I'm just kind of finding I just need a couple more, some things that's maybe just a little bit more fun. And then a few of like the formal ones, like this YSL one I have, um, that just makes more sense for like having to go into a more elevated occasion, maybe downtown to the symphony or what have you um, for those instances. But I wanted a couple more casual everyday summer um, type of, of ones. I didn't really have any um, super colorful ones. So that's why I picked up this one. Um, the strap from what I can tell in here is quite substantial. Um, I'm not going to do any mod shots on it here. I'll do them on Instagram. So you can see those um, over there if you want to follow me over there. I don't post as much as I should on there. Again, time <laughs> and all that, that stuff that I will, um, you know, post over there what it will look like on a larger person you know, about a 3X and I'm 5'4". So um, if you want to see what a wall on chain looks like on someone of my size, although I'm sure that others have bought this before and you've probably seen it, but um, that option will be there for you. But I just wanted to do real, real quick um, why I didn't <laughs> want to buy one and why I bought one now, why I've, I've so eaten my words about why I wouldn't purchase the Coach Tabby. Um, I was a little bit concerned about this covered see here it seemed um i was just kind of concerned it would might rub off or get nicked on things it doesn't seem like it might be a problem but i don't know just knowing how i don't baby my bags at all and i'll be throwing it into my um larger bags i'm a little concerned about the c being covered and probably would have liked it to just have been metal um, which of course would have shown all the scratches anyway but i would have preferred just like metal being scratched rather than chipped off leather so that's the only concern i really have with it but other than that being the price i paid like i said i paid 100 and i think 70 so that's 120 dollars less than what it full price was i think that was a rather decent deal i think it's a really pretty color um really pretty pink i'd love to add one in a purple if they make one coach you're listening <laughs> just kidding if they um, want to go that route I, I think it's really cute i think the only thing else that um while i like it being a crossbody one thing i like about coach usually is that sometimes they give you more than one strap option and this one only came with the one so i think there is an actual wristlet version of the tabby if i'm not mistaken and that one would have been interesting to have just like you know one handle that um to convert a lot faster and easier but even so my fleecy has a long chain and i just take it off and use it as the wallet and then throw the chain inside and so on and so on so not a big deal but that's probably the only con i guess i have for for the product but other than that i'm going to you know i think use it so i, I just did that i didn't mean to <laughs> i'm gonna get off of here put my phone into it make sure i'm going to keep it before i rip all of the rest of this open um and yeah i'll put on the screen if it's a, a yay or a nay if it ends up having to go back you know, I'll let somebody know that it's available so they can snatch it up at the, the low, low price that I pay because I'm sure Macy's will want to get rid of it if, <laughs> if I return it. But I have a feeling that it'll be sticking around. It's quite, it's quite cute. So um, what do you think? Do you have a coach? Do you have these? Do you have a lot of them? Are you thinking I'm insane for my <laughs> my thoughts on how this, how the coach tabby looks, but um, now I have one. I can't say that anymore. I am 
no longer <laughs> going to have those thoughts about its appearance. I can't say bad things about my baby, right? <laughs> That's how, how things work. So um, yeah, I think she's pretty, pretty cute. So thanks for joining me. If you like talking about handbags or other things like fragrances and the like, comment down below, subscribe, share all those things that YouTube likes us to, to say, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.